Serious trauma detected. needed. I just saw a hunter by the ferris wheel. If it's the same one you ran into earlier, we should assume he's after Schaefer. Stay sharp. There's a few Rikers near the ferris wheel. They're armed and look ready. Once you're inside the haunted house, you're on your own. Keep your eyes peeled for that hunter, and don't let your guard down in there. Come <laughs> on. 
Medical assistance needed. Agent out of action. Schaefer's still by the collapsed roller coaster. Get out of the haunted house and find a way to the coaster before he moves. Active terminal detected. I trust whatever you can find on Schaefer's off will probably be useful. Shade tech detected. Data decrypted and synchronized. Cache unlocked. Sweet. You found a hunter shrapnel trap. You should equip it right away. Might come in handy. The hunter's taking out some Rikers on the boardwalk. Now's your chance, Agent. System malfunctioning. went into the old amusement park. Schaefer and the Hunter are working together? System curtailed.
Today's video is brought to you by dving.net. So dving.net uh, gives you the service to where they can boost your account within any of these game titles. You can see Call of Duty, Destiny, Overwatch, Starcraft, and much more. For example, let's go to Division 2. You can get exotics, weapons, uh, raids, boost your watch level, summit floor boost, and hunter mask. So just click on any of these, add it to the cart, and apply that coupon. So go to checkout. Go to apply coupon and type in kamikaze. Kamikaze is your coupon. You go to apply and there you go. You get 15% off. If you have any questions at all, you can contact their support chat in the bottom right hand of your screen. And uh, yeah, there you go. Thank you to dving.net and back to the video. Welcome back you guys, Kamikaze Von Doom here, and this is going to be another Division 2 build video. Now, I hope you enjoyed that gameplay and my paid promotion. Obviously I gotta support the family, so yeah. But anyways, all that gameplay was the Coney Island Manhunt Mission Schaefer on Heroic with One Directive. Now I was doing that solo just to show you guys what the build can do. But obviously this build would be even better in a team-based environment. But alright, without further ado, this is the Armor Region Crit Build version 2. Now while you look at this, let me explain to you why it is version 2. So last week I released the best solo hybrid build version 1. And it was an Armor Region, or yeah, Armor Region Crit Build. But it was, uh... It was lacking in some areas so a person named that other guy on YouTube pointed out that if I threw on a bellstone in a Sokolov I could probably get more armor regen and more damage and you know what he was completely right so shout out to that other guy uh, on YouTube it is a funny name but it is his name so I'm sure you'll see him in the comment section but let's get into the build. So starting with the specialization, I am using the gunner specialization. Uh, the gunner specialization gives me the bonus armor on the armor kit, which is amazing. Gives me the riot foam grenade, which is very good, especially for rushing NPCs. And it also gives me that armor on kill. I use the armor on kill a lot with armor region builds just because they, they help each other out. And if you want to go like way overboard, you could go with Bloodsucker. That way you get the armor on kill and the bonus armor on kill. However, for this build, I'm using Adrenaline Rush on my backpack. This gives me bonus armor every time I am close to an enemy. Not only that, but it procs my perfect Intimidate. So we'll get into that here in a second. But that's why I'm using the specialization. Now going to the weapons. So for my weapon combination, I chose the Lady Death, the FAMAS with Optimist, and then a double barrel sawed off with Close and Personal. So starting with the Lady Death, this one is God Rolled across the board and is sitting at 80.7k total damage. Now going into the stats a little bit, um, I am sitting at 50.8 crit chance and 144.7 crit damage. Now what's so cool about this is not only do I have crit, but I have some good armor regen. I'm sitting at 53,825 armor regen per second. And that's with a 1.3 million armor build. So you can see how this is really uh, a well-formed hybrid. I've got a lot of reds. I've got a lot of blues, I have crit, and I have armor regen with some really good base damage. But going back to the weapons, that's the Lady Death, and here's my FAMAS. This FAMAS is God rolled again uh, with damage to armor. I chose Optimist as the talent because it has a high RPM and it's easy to proc that Optimist. So Optimist, you get more weapon damage for the less amount of ammo in your magazine. So with high RPMs, it's really easy to proc this Optimist. And then for the sidearm, double barrel sawed off with close and personal. So I chose close and personal with this sawed off because it has 1.1 million damage 
and every time I kill an enemy within 7 meters, I get 30% more weapon damage. And obviously, with a double barrel sawed off, you're going to be up close and personal. Now looking at the build itself, I'm running Adrenaline Rush with Perfect Intimidate. I have the Emperor's Guard knee pads with one Bellstone Armory and one Sokolov Concern. Speaking of which, let's start with the mask. So this is the Sokolov Concern Mask. Brand set bonus I get from this build is 10% SMG damage. This one is God Rolled for crit, so I have max weapon damage, max crit damage, and max crit chance. For the mod, I chose crit damage at 11.9%. For the backpack, I'm using the Gila Guard backpack. So the brand set bonus I get is 5% total armor. You want that for your armor region. The more armor you have, the more base armor you have, the higher armor region you will get from the percentages. So just remember that. The armor region goes off of your base armor. Now the core attribute for this one, 160k armor, so I am missing about 10,000 right there. Not, not a big deal. Now for the attributes, I have max crit damage, but then I have weapon handling. This is the only part of the build I would fix. My problem is it is very hard to find a Gilligard backpack with adrenaline rush and high armor. So just, just saying. If, uh, if any of you guys run missions with me and you get one of these please drop it for your boy because I could really use a little bit more armor region and this build would be like a masterpiece but for right now this is the best it's gonna be so for the mod slot again crit damage at 11.9 now a uh, review for adrenaline rush when it whenever you're within 10 meters of an enemy you get 20% bonus armor however in PvP it is only 10%, so just remember that. Now going back to the PvE, you get 20% bonus armor for five seconds and it stacks up to three times. So whenever those NPCs are rushing me, I get 60% bonus armor. So put that with my 1.3 million armor, that's over two million armor total whenever those NPCs are rushing. So you're doing that and you're getting your perfect intimidate buff as well which makes this build even better so here is the hunter killer chess piece this is your named golem gear chess piece with perfect intimidate now the golem gear brand set bonuses i get from this build 10 percent status effects and one percent armor region now perfect intimidate uh, makes this build and what that is is it's 40 percent amplified weapon damage when you have bonus armor and you're going to get bonus armor every time enemies are close to you from the adrenaline rush and this is 40 percent amplified damage so go to pvp it's still 40 percent this is insane you guys that's a lot of damage so for the attributes max weapon damage max armor region and 11.1 .1 crit damage for the mod i throw in there more crit damage at 11.8 going to the gloves golden gear again now this one could get a little bit better but again rng this is the best it's going to get right now so for the gloves i have 152k armor which is 18k short so overall, this build is missing about 20,000 armor. That's really not a lot when you're rocking over 1.3 million total. However, it could get higher, so you know me, perfectionist. So for the other attributes, I have max crit damage at 12%, and then it came with armor region at 4547. down to the Emperor's Guard knee pads. These are the named Murakami knee pads with that 1% armor region that is vital for this build. Now this one came with crit chance at 11 point, or at 3.8, and I rolled max weapon damage. Now the brand set bonus from this, 
Uh, you do get skill duration, but that's really not a player with this build combination that I'm running. I mean, I guess you could use like a drone or, you know, something like that with skill duration that would be good. But for me personally, I'm just using it for the armor region. And then finally, the Bellstone Armory Holster. This one, God rolled. I'm sorry, you guys. This one's awesome. I've got max armor, max armor regen, and max crit damage. It doesn't get any better than this. I wish all my gear items looked like this. Now, for the brand set bonus I get from the Bellstone Armory, 1% armor regen. And then the skills I used, this was from the gameplay you just saw. I was using the Jammer Pulse and the Reviver Hive. And then finishing up with the stats, Lady Death, 80.6k weapon damage, 26.8k PvP weapon damage, 50% crit chance, and 144 crit damage. Go to the offensive tab, I'm at 55% damage bonus with 40% SMG damage bonus. So every time I use the SMG, I'm sitting at 95% damage bonus total. Now again, for the gear talents, I am using Adrenaline Rush with Perfect Intimidate. Great combination. Defensive tab, 1.3 million armor, 131k armor on kill, and just under 54,000 armor regen. I do have 313 max health, and then 10% explosive resistance and 10% hazard, but those are because of my watch level. So this is the point of the video where I do the disclaimer about the watch level. I am currently watch level 890. So if you are making this build and your watch level is lower, you might have lower stats in certain areas. That's because of your watch. Now, if you are making this build and you are over 890, you might have higher stats in certain areas. So just remember that when you're making these builds. And that's it, you guys. This is the Armor Regen Crit Build version 2. Shout out to that other guy on YouTube for giving me the tip. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, yeah, don't forget, hit that like, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.